Hi there, Chris Piercy, Wedding Magician, Mind Reader and Hypnotist here with episode 5 of Yes To I Do Review. Now, this is a very, very controversial one because we had uh, Sally Ann Prout on who is a photographer um, and her chosen topic of uh, conversation was uh, why it's an advantage to have a female wedding photographer. Um, and uh, I can see where she was coming from with some of it, uh, but and I just... I just didn't agree with her at all. Uh, and I, I, like I said, I completely understand where she's coming from. Uh, and her main her main point was the fact that um, it's a lot more comfortable for women to elect uh, a female photographer into the bridal suite um, and kind of help with the getting dressed and stuff like that and have that kind of, that kind of girly moment in the morning. Um, so... Yeah, that that was her kind of her, her main point, which I get and I understand. Um, but I am aware that kind of some of my male photographer friends are allowed into the bridal suite, and it's kind of like uh, understood that you know that's absolutely fine. And it's about whether you tr um, have that connection and trust with your photographer, which goes back to as you find a lot of it <laughs> happens in the episode. It goes back to um, what we said in episode four with Sadie Osborne was that, you know, that connection with your photographer or with whichever supplier is actually the most important thing. So it doesn't actually come down to the gender of your photographer. It comes down to whether you kind of get on with them properly and trust them. Um, so it's, it's a very interesting um, episode to listen to because, you know, we are, very open-minded and we were kind of accepted as, as a topic but I don't think even even myself or Jack um, believe that the gender of your photographer should matter whatsoever it should just come back to whether you um, you get on with your photographer or not uh, so this it's an interesting episode to listen to uh, go, go and give it a, um, a quick listen um, see what you think uh, and if you if you have, uh, if you agree, then I'd love to hear more about what you think about it. Uh, if you disagree with her, again, I'd love to hear more about what you think about it. Put it in the comments below. Um, so yeah, that was uh, that was episode five. Now there are four ways in which I can help you with your wedding planning. Uh, number one, go and listen to the podcast. There is a link to this particular episode, as well as uh, all of the episodes above. Uh, you can check out my blog, so you can find those at www.chrispiercymagic.co.uk uh, forward slash blog. Uh, the third way I can help you is you can buy a copy of my book. It is called Blissful Wedding Planning, Becoming a Stoic Bride. Uh, and this is not about how to plan a wedding, but how to actually fall in love with your wedding planning. I've taken my knowledge of weddings, my knowledge of being a cognitive behavioral hypnotherapist, and my knowledge of stoic philosophy, combined them together and written a book that tells you the perfect mindset uh, in order to plan your wedding and actually love, yes, love the process um everything is covered that you could possibly think of um so that is there that's bliss wedding planning becoming a stoic bride and the fourth and final way in which i can help you with your wedding is for me to be there uh, not as a guest but you can invite me if you like but as a wedding magician uh, breaking the ice between people keeping the day flowing when it can go a little bit quiet at the quieter times of the day for instance after the ceremony and after the wedding breakfast can go a little bit uh, flat i didn't say that um and just creating that fun buzzing atmosphere Keep people laughing, everyone laughing heads off. And you can find more about that at chrispiercymagic.co.uk forward slash wedding hyphen magician. Uh, that's all for now, and I'll see you for episode six very soon.